kind of wait for someone to come on. Anybody out there? Just thought I'd come on anyway. Just to wish you all well out there. Hope you are all doing good. Whatever situation it is you're in out there. There's one common situation we've got ourselves in. Is this uh, COVID saga. Yeah, there's lots that can be said about the old COVID saga. A few of you are starting to question the narrative. Starting to realise it's all a load of bullshit. Starting to figure out a few things. So I'd take you for a wee walk around the park. Say good day. I don't often put my face on, but uh, you know, that's how it is these days. This is me mug. I'm gonna turn you around anyway. G'day Corey. How you doing buddy? Thanks for joining us. Just gonna spin around here a bit if I can. How's that sound? Does that sound alright? Not sure what the wind's doing out there. I figure this is So I'm just out here in Isle Park in uh, Nelson. Taking my dog for a walk, haven't been out in the park with you guys for a while. I pretty much get out here every day if I can. Bit of old uh, bit of natural therapy. Getting amongst these beautiful taonga. Sit in silence for a wee while and contemplate in the temples. Put the con on the plate between the temples and analyse it. That means analyse it, I think. Because there's a bit of shit going on that we're seeing. A bit of crap. But it's good, we had a good, um, it was a good little turnout down in Nelson this morning. The protests, Sue Gray, Alan Simmons down there. Of course, they represent the Outdoors Party, but it's not all about the Outdoors Party, folks, you know. It's about what we're all dealing with. And I think it might be a bit of a costume party because there's a few actors out there. A few actors in the theatre of gullibility. Bit of rubbish going on. That's good, people starting to question things is what we need to do. Because then, as I say, as you've seen of any of my uh, smorgasbord things, you'll realise that when you're asking questions, you're as king. And queens, of course. There's always two sides to a coin. That makes sense, eh? It was a beautiful day out here in Nelson. Absolutely stunning out here in the field. So there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of, a lot of, um, you know, anxiety that we can be tuning into. A lot of, a lot of people feeling uncertain because we're in uncharted waters. There is no doubt about it. Um, I think many people are starting to wake up to the. Uh, discrepancies to what they're actually being told um, by their so-called leaders and all their foray of experts and scientists all bought and paid for of course just like the media just getting 50 mil just to pay them off and shut them up you're gonna get off those TV channels and start tuning into other people out there that are trying to wake you up there's people out there trying to wake you up folks and you, you're part of that as well. That's your job as well. You have a duty. You're duty bound, folks. You know, you always gotta pay your duty, don't you? And duty fee, that's the fee you pay, is your duty. Duty to your abilities and your responsibilities and your abilities. It's a funny thing when they first, uh, First, uh, when you come in the borders of any country, you know how they ask, what the first thing they ask you? They ask you if you have anything to declare. Do you have anything to declare? Wow. We need a bit of clarification and things that are going on. Because there's a lot of, uh, 
a lot of propaganda, a lot of spin, a lot of stuff that we need to start delving into ourselves and doing our own research. Raising our own levels of awareness and understanding and becoming awake. Because we like to we like to be on the sea, our little vessels on the sea, it's awake. We don't want to be one of those wakes where you are summoning the dead or sending off the dead. There's a few waves being rippled around this country at the moment and across the world. And it's starting to stir a few people up and make them ask questions. And that's a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful thing. And we can convince them to get off their bloody TVs and stop listening to the propaganda narrative and the bullshit that's out there. Then we start to raise our levels of understanding, understanding and overstanding. And if you don't go within, you, you'll go without. And if you start looking at all the rubbish that's out there, you're going to be in a place of anxiety and distress, loneliness. So you've got to lift yourselves out of that. Start raising your own vibration. Start doing some research. Start looking into some things. Start questioning the narrative and unwinding the spin. One way you can do that is in check out some of my vids about how they use the language and the spellings to very cleverly deceive and weave their networks of misconceptions and deceptions they're very clever at it but we're smarter than that hey we're way smarter than that who got there okay Carl how are you Peter thanks for joining us not sure where all you guys are, but um, I'll take you for a wee walk in the field, eh? Hey, Kim. Thanks for joining us. Who else we got there? Clayton. Hey, Clayton, how are you, brother? Keep spreading the knowledge, my friend. Keep doing the good mahi. When your light shines bright, the darkness can't come in. It's pretty simple stuff. Honey, thanks for joining us. La la, keep, keep spreading that good stuff, lady. Doing the good stuff. Doing the good mahi, all you guys, mate. Love and light to you all. Bloody troopers in a world of darkness, mate. Yeah, questioners. Rebel rebels. Revolting. That's what we are. We're revolting. We've got to. We have a duty. We're duty bound to revolt. Those who fail to question go unquestioningly. We've seen how that works out in history. It's not a pretty picture, but my God, that is. So we've got Auckland in uh, level three. We're in level two. So we've got a window of opportunity, they've given us 12 days, and you know how the majority will, when the uh, leaders say jump, they'll, they'll just answer how high. So uh, it's up to us, we're starting to see through the bullshit, start picking ourselves up off our seats and getting out there and supporting those that are trying to stand up and make a difference. Because the window of opportunity to do so is closing. I mean, they've, they've told you they don't bring on all, all these laws, rules, and regulations because they're not going to use them, folks. You know, there's all sorts of things you can do. You've got the technology in your hands. You've got your own little social media groups, your own little local groups. Connect. Get together. Get together on Papatuanuku, on the land. That's what we've got to start doing. Start uniting, folks. You know, united we stand, divided we fall. And sure, we've all got our own little individual aspects and levels of understanding and knowledge and comprehension. And that's beautiful because we will always learn something from someone else just as much as we will, they will learn from us. It's called quid pro quo in legal terms or Latin. 
quid pro quo. It's a beautiful thing. It's balance, centered. So get yourself centered. Get out in the field. Get out in your fields. Your field of energy. Start putting your energy into motion because there's lots of emotion going on. We're very emotional. When we're emotional, we're on the waves. And then we're awake, aren't we? We're all surfers. Surfers on the wave of awakening. Whether you like it or not. You know, you can resist. <laughs> Resistance is futile. Isn't that what they tell us? Resistance is futile, folks. So here I am out in the field, my little dog Teddy. Thanks for joining us, guys. Just having a bit of a ramble, really. Um, you know, there's lots of people stuck in their houses in fear and that. So if I can give them a wee respite from that by dragging them out into a little bit of nature. Go and get their feet back on the earth. Heal their souls, you know, that's how that works. Heal your soul. You don't want to be shooed. You don't want to be shooed. Get back to the soul. Helicopters are out by the look of it, the sound of it. So yeah. Just out here getting grounded, getting centered. You gotta do that for yourself. I can't do that for you. You create your environment. You are the creator. You do that with your words, with your actions, with your thoughts, with your spirit, with your mana. And gratitude. It's all about having a good attitude. Doesn't matter what longitude or latitude you're at, you gotta have that gratitude attitude. Get that gratitude attitude, folks. Gratitude, attitude, longitude, latitude. It's all measured on land, isn't it? Assure me when I'm on the land. It assures me you're measured. You know your boundaries. Knowing your boundaries is, is about garnering information. And information is very powerful. As you all know, it's that powerful that the government pays the media $50 billion to continue a false narrative. That's how powerful that is. But see, the real power lies within, within all of you. All of you, because we're all part of the same thing. Breathing the same air, we're walking on the same land. We feel the same things, we love our brothers, we love our sisters, our mothers. Our fathers, we thrive on beauty, openness, expression, transparency. We live in a forest of many trees. None of them is any less than the forest. And that in and of itself sustains many bigger things. things that are now a little short lifespans we'll never see the fruition of goodness we can plant some seeds those seeds can do amazing things so thanks for joining us guys who else have we got there grace thanks for joining us katarina thanks for joining us beautiful down here Nelson I hope it's all good in your environments guys like as I say you create your environments you have the power to do that so this is where I am down here today Isle Park I'm walking my dog but I don't know where he's gone <laughs> that's all right he won't go far away so yeah a leisurely stroll a bit of koriru I'm getting out here, getting grounded. Because with all this raru raru and uncertainty and you know, overflow of information and it can be all very daunting. Sometimes we just need to stop. 
take a couple of deep breaths. Just allow your mind to let the thoughts flow through, in and out. And be the observer. Try not to be attached to those things. Because they'll come and they'll go and they'll change. In fact, you don't even own them. You are only the observer of them. Your part of the river flows to the sea. Those are the sounds you want to be listening to, folks. The sounds of nature. And the sounds of your own breathing, being within that nature. And part of that nature. Because it all makes sense. It's all about your sense, isn't it? Your senses. you got a few senses. A few cents, a few dollars, got a bit of worth, a bit of cost, a bit of value, a bit of liquidity. You can bank on that, that liquidity. Banks do. See here we have the river banks with the water flowing between the banks. The banks controlling the currents that flow to the sea. The banks controlling the currency. That's what it's all about. There he is, here's my dog. He come back. Right. So yeah, get yourselves out in the nature, get your feet back on the ground, heal your souls, feet to the earth, foot to the pedal, pedal to the metal, and uh, get out there and, and unite, folks. Get together, talk with each other. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. Only the silent are dead, and the dead are silent, folks. You're not dead yet. You're sitting there watching or listening to me, you're not dead yet. And get back to your own centre. Start evaluating, re-evaluating. Measuring up. Assessing. You know, if things are holding you back, let go of them. If there's things you need, go and get them. If there's things you haven't done, go and do it. Should is a very dangerous word. <laughs> I should do that. Oh, I should have done that. Could, should, would. How oh, the wood. I would. Why wouldn't you? These very simple things that we can just stop and take stock of. Very, very simple things. All the beauty that's around us, the individuality of all that beauty. Now it says nothing but screams volumes. If you're having trouble um, finding a place of gratitude, it's very easy. I want you to, if you can, scratch your head. See now, the fact that you can do that and got two arms to be able to do that, you should be grateful for that. That's something simple to be grateful for. Yeah, these guys are all different. They're all different. They're all different doing their own thing. But they're united in their goal. And that is to grow big and strong. And to impress the bees. They're also part of the chain. The psychology and the biology. 
the ecology, the study of all sorts of things, your connectedness. You know, the only time you're separate is when you separate yourselves. When you separate yourselves, you're alone. You're all one, aren't you? When you're alone, you're all one. If you spell the word. Yeah. One in past tense is win. I think we do that in the end. Or the beginning. One beginning, another end, another end, another beginning. Beginning of a breath and the end of a breath. The end of a thought to scratch your nose and the beginning of another thought about the splinter in the end of your toe. It's more a splinter in the mind that we're uh, dealing with at the moment. And unfortunately, they've tried to put us into a state of fear, which is, of course, the false energy appearing real and the state of... Uh, um, a paralyzation actually, fear paralyzes people. All of a sudden they can't uh, coordinate things and, and everything seems too big and overwhelming. Do you think any of these beautiful little flowers in here think the world's overwhelming? We've got to come overcome our differences folks. Because we're all rooted in the same earth. All part of it. That's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Get yourselves out there, find space for yourselves, fill your own cups up, quench your own thirst and fill your own cups so that they're all half full at least. If you can fill them right up, then you can quench the thirst of others. And we do that by becoming informed and aware and expanding, keeping open-minded. And know in the end, it's all, it's all okay. Isn't it? I mean, the picture that's going on, the things that are going on, it's way bigger than all of us. And we've only got little pieces, little tiny pieces of the, the whole picture. And we're handicapped because the avenues of information we've got to try and create the picture or put the pieces of the puzzle of the picture together are misinforming us. And deceiving us and lying to us and, you know, whatever, whatever word you want to put on it. But again, it's the old anacronym, let those that be deceived be deceived. And unfortunately, deception is rife at this time. Pretty normal out here. Most people out playing tennis today. It's a beautiful day. Getting out in the field. Taking your dog for a burn around the park. Just going to do a bit of a rabbit on. Just some, you know, some people are a bit lonely out there. Sometimes they just need someone to listen to, or someone else's point of view, or and that's where you guys come in. You know, saying hello to someone or just, you know, smiling at someone. Kindness costs nothing. It's pretty easy. But you've got to be able to get yourself into a place where you're able to give without it taking away from your own. Fill your own cups first, I guess is the motto of that one. Fill your own cups up, folks. Go for your walks. Go and jump in a cold stream or... I don't know, do whatever it is you've got to do, but do it. You do it. Because knowledge is power, but power is no good if you're sitting in your room quivering in fear, is it? Going to get bottlenecked there, and that's a spiral, a downhill spiral. A lot of people currently, because they're in that thought pattern, that mind field, that currency of thought that's paralyzed them. Hey God, the insanity of what's going on is, is just it's a biggest belief. The biggest belief that people can believe the narrative. The 
big as belief. Well, if we look who's out there, actually. G'day, Leone. How you doing? Peter, thanks for joining us. Just doing a wee walk around the field. It's a beautiful day out here. Nelson. Beautiful Saturday afternoon. No rugby down here today because we're in uh, level three down here. Level three of kindergarten we're in today. They've got um, level two kindergarten in Auckland today for all those that want to join. You can get along there and join in the lockdown. Mind you, there's some good protests going on. I was, I was down at, uh, as I say earlier on, down at Nelson this morning. Um, it was good getting down there. Seen a few people again connecting with people that are on the same level and you can share information with and you don't have to be uh, you know talking to them in kindergarten levels the time the time for small talk you know we're listening to the talk that's coming out of the out of the powers that think they are we listen to their talk their small talk and their bull talk <laughs> lives in the now so yeah so yeah get yourselves away from all that negativity or, or as I say trying to learn to detach yourself from it observe it as the observer but be united in your observations with others and speak out get together coffee shops street corners signs emailing your councils emailing these idiots that think they're in charge there's lots you can do you've got to get coordinated and motivated and if the stuff that's going on around outside you like we got the wolves circling the paddocks at the moment folks so if that didn't motivate you then you need to go 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 stand a bit closer to the fence because uh, the wolves are certainly iron up the sheep at the moment but the sheep have got the wolves outnumbered and we're way smarter than them in the end see how these guys are all working together they look like they're separate but they're all part of the same thing all working together all coordinating their goals instead of focusing on what separates people their, or, or, or their their individual branches when they go out on a limb now they know they're all united and they're focusing on the same thing getting to the root getting the goodness to the root of things the heart of things the truth truth's at the heart of the matter if you don't mind it won't matter that's how that works here's my dog saying hello to someone <laughs> sorry about What's wrong? Can you bark up behind me? <laughs> yeah. Probably your hat actually. Could you do you little rat? Probably I got a smell, Oh, probably could be too. <laughs> yeah. He's usually pretty friendly. Lots of bark, not, not much bite. A bit like our government, they got some bark, no bite. All the bites with you guys. Take a bite out of the pie. Instead of listening to this pie in the sky stuff. Trying to keep things balanced. 
No, it's too hard, too shaky, sorry about it. That's what it's about, finding your balance, keeping it in balance. You know, you look, look, at, look at all the rudder rudder and the rubbish that's going on, but also, you know, treat yourselves, guys, you deserve it. As I say, you know, fill your cups first and foremost. And that means informing yourselves, keeping yourselves active, keeping yourselves out there social. We are social creatures, first and foremost. All those little flowers on that tree, they are social creatures, folks. They're all connected to the same root of things. And they got good footing, good grounding, healing their souls. Doing so much in silence. And see, here's the funny thing. You know, all these trees, I don't know some of the names of all these flowers and these trees. It doesn't matter what language you have, they'll all have a different word for it or a different name for it. But we can all see the same thing. We're all observing the same thing. How we describe it, how we interpret it, how we translate it and define it. That's, that's, that's our king and queenship. That's our right as creators. That's what we do. The forest is full of trees. It's not one, it's all. Not one leaf on a tree. You don't really want to leave the tree and get away from the trunk. It's good to go out on the limb though. We like to be, we like to have a bit of relief, don't we? And we go into the trees for rest. Into the forest, it's all for rest. We've got to get back to nature, she'll talk to us, she'll heal us. She is your healer. She will give everything you need and she will teach you everything you know. Everything you need to know about how to get along together and to find your balance with each other, to find your boundaries, to express yourself in your own individual ways. That's what it's about. That's what's about you. And that's what you are about. Expressing yourselves and having the freedom to do that. And when that starts to get taken away from you, then that's the man with the chainsaw walking into the forest. When the man with the chainsaw, when you hear the chainsaws getting revved up, folks, it's time to be alert. And to start dropping a few of those branches. Because we need the forest for rest. It tells you. You'll interpret it in a different way, you'll see it in a different way, but it's the same thing. And your perspective and your interpretation and your evaluations and your, your views, they're yours, own them. And if they ain't working for you, refine them. If you're in a shady area of the forest, then grow a bit taller. If you're in a sandy bank, then get your roots grounded a bit more. Get on track. So you, you need to, um, I think there's lots of rallies going on in people's towns all over the country here in New Zealand. Um, so I urge you, while you still can, to get up there, get out there, support others, get over your own fears and your own, um, I don't know, your own character flaws or your own um, f supposed failings or assumed lacks of um, character or confidence or whatever it is. You got to get over it. Because your time here is short, you never know when it's going to end, and we 
are the ones we've been waiting for. As I've said before on my vids, you've got front row seats and first class tickets, folks. Enjoy the ride, but get involved. Get involved in the ride because it's nothing without you. It's nothing without your participation in it. It's nothing without your aspect. Diamonds have many faces. You are one face of the diamond. One of many. So shine your lights out there. Shine them right. Make your stand. Doesn't have to be a big stand. Doesn't have to be the prettiest, flashiest, brightest stand in the forest or whatever it is. Just make your stand. Because those without standing are lying. You see how that works? Those without standing are lying. We all create our own beds. And choose who we lie with, don't we? Does that mean we have the liability? Indeed, indeed we do. We do have that liability. We do have that responsibility. We have the power and the passion and the understanding that it's not just about us as individuals. There's a bigger thing going on here, folks. Way bigger. We'll never comprehend it. We'll never understand it. But we're part of it. You're in it, whether you want to be or not. And when there's wolves circling the paddocks, And it's time to be alert. We need more alerts in the world, don't we? We need a lot more alerts out there. A lot more people conducting themselves as kings. Asking, asking questions, and questioning everything. Including yourselves. Question yourselves, folks. Because you can just about guarantee 80% of the stuff you're being told ain't the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. See, they, they're very clever, these politicians. They lie by omission. They'll tell you... They'll tell you that they're going to pull your tooth, but they won't tell you about all the pain involved. They'll try and give you all the anesthesia. They'll try and give you all that anesthesia <laughs> to anesthetize you. That's how they do, that's how they roll. We've got all the experts out there, the doctors and the scientists and the professors and telling us all how we need to look after our health and how they can do the best job of doing that. And we've been surviving here for millions of years without them and we're still doing it, so it kind of makes their... Uh, job's a little bit uh, obsolete in my book because that's the power you have you 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 can uh, sort out your own health and that's up here as well your temples you got a contemplate it's about that that's what that's about that's how that works <laughs> that's how that works I'll turn this around actually Better looking out here in the out in the field. So yeah. So here we all are. And because we are, by our very nature, we're inquisitive, social, kind, compassionate, caring, empathetic, unlimited unbound 
entities. Actually, we are the Dow. I think I, I had it there one day. It's, uh, we're a decentralized, autonomous, autodidactic, a physiological organisms. <laughs> Look some of those words up. <laughs> It's really good being out in an uncluttered field, in an open field, on the real estate, back on the land. It's, it's like your mind. Once you get your body out there, it'll change your mind. Change your environment, it'll change your mind. If you change your mind, it'll automatically change your environment. That's just how that works. It's good pro quo, as they say in Latin beautiful thing about life is you can poke at one place and something else will pop out somewhere else and that's what happens you'll close one door and another door will open and then you'll be in a whole new room and then you'll have a, a new field experience and then your field will be different it will be changed See, that's the beautiful thing about all these experiences and um, different things we yeah, experience as we go, even through day to day, hour to hour, minute to minute, second to second. We have the ability to be able to change our minds at any second. And that gives us the ability to be able to move out of places of fear. get out of places of fear then we're centered when we're centered we know exactly what we're doing we don't have to question ourselves when we're centered we're standing in our truth in our honor in your mana and true to your word there was a day a man was worthy of his word Fortunately, legalese and politicians and Roman canonical laws have put paid to a lot of that. That's what I've been trying to show you guys, though, with the depths of the spellings and the words and the power of the words, the power of the sound, because it sounds good. Truth will sound good. It will ring true. And when you see the sound expressed in symbols that you interpret, those symbols are sounds. Drummers have symbols. They impact. They, they infect. Infect your consciousness. Infect your mind. Sounds good. Sounds good. We, always, we all like a bit of mind control, don't we? We want states of mind control. The funny thing is we have control of our own minds. That's the irony of it all. And so you can choose to believe whatever it is you want. You know, you can uh, investigate, interpret, translate, define. And grow. See, all these things are all growing. They're all growing because they're garnering information. They're learning. They're expanding. They're changing with the environment. The seasons will shape them. The environment will shape them. That's how important it is your environment is. I mean, they've done the experiments before with um, putting rats in a terrible environment with uh, bowls of cocaine and heroin and water. And when they were in that stressed environment, they would uh, gravitate towards the anesthetizers. You know, they would gravitate towards the drugs and the and the 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 tool of escape, whatever that tool of escape is, from having to face the reality. 
and maybe seemingly, well, if they're in a cage, of course they've got no control. But at the moment, you guys aren't in a cage. The government's trying to put you in a cage, and that's up to you. It's up to you what you do about that. It's up to you entirely what you do about that. Come on, Ted. And don't get caught in the cage of your mind, though, folks. Don't get caught into that spiralling down, that revolving door of I'm no good. I can't do it. What can I do? I can't do anything. That is defeatist. That's negative. You want to be saying, what can I do? Oh, I'm good at this. I can do that. You know, focus on what you're good at. I don't know what you're bad at. God knows we're all bad at lots of things. And uh, generally speaking, we are our own worst judges. So you've got to lighten up on yourselves a little bit. Give yourselves, some, uh, give yourselves a pat on the back, you guys. Because, mate, we're on the front lines of beautiful paradigm-shifting events. <laughs> that only come once in a millennia. Absolutely incredible. The, the gift it is to be here at this time and certainly in this place. In this multi-dimensional, unfathomable, extremely beautiful, thriving world. I mean, there's often times we think we should be doing more, and we can do more. But the best thing you can do is get your own shit together. And stop measuring yourselves against the other trees in the forest. Because there's going to be bigger trees. There's going to be smaller trees. There's going to be more beautiful trees. But that's all perception, of course. Opinion and perception on the surface level. But underneath it, we're all in this together. Come on. And that's a beautiful thing. You know, we can get frustrated with people around us that uh, maybe aren't on our same level or can't quite see things the way we see them. Well, that's not their fault. You know, that's not their fault. That's your inability to be able to... Um, like when I was teaching English in Japan, one of the things, one of the mottos I ran by, if the teacher hasn't taught, if the student hasn't learnt, sorry, the teacher hasn't taught. So it's about one's... Um, ability to be able to change the approach to things and to see things from a different angle and maybe someone else's point of view at times because God knows there's enough conflicting stories out there there's enough false narratives going around and we only know what we've been told and we know they lie to us. We know they lie to us. That's what they do. They lie by omission at the very least. And that is their that is the nature of politic. In fact government in government is a conspiracy, folks. <laughs> right, just take the blatant obvious. Yeah, governments are conspiracy. They don't work for you. They never have, they never will. Governments are not there for your benefit. They're there for the benefit of the rich. Even the police, when the police first come round in the days of London and that, I mean, they were, they were there to protect the rich. Always. Always have been, always will be. And when we're in a, we're in a state of corporate takeover, 
and that's what it is it's corporate takeover because we've left ourselves open for salvage like uh, little ships on the high seas unfortunately that's what's going on we're being salvaged but they can only do that if we break apart if we allow them to strip away those trees out of the forest that's their sustainable development isn't it <laughs> You see what kind of sustainable development they've got in store for you? I mean, they've told you. There's the legislation, COVID-19, health acting, bunch of actors promoting their propaganda and bullshit because they're so damn scared of the people waking up and having realised and realising the real lies So I don't know what they're doing with this other 12 days, actually. There's a couple of things they can do in there, in my view. Either they're not quite ready to roll out what it is they want, and they're getting more troops in the country, more Canadian troops or UN troops, or whatever it is they're doing. And so they need a bit more time to do that, and they're going to roll out a few more of these 5G towers. But it also gives us the window of opportunity to start, you know, really getting a bit louder. And people are just naturally are anyway because as the wolves get closer you start to whine and scream and squeech and squeal a bit more and all of a sudden not having manicured toenails or friggin mustang car or whatever the frig it is you want doesn't seem to kind of um matter so much does it doesn't matter what kind of car you're driving folks the road rules are uh, coming down on you government's coming whether you like it or not they've told you so they've given you fair warning and so, you know, fill your own cups up, get energised, and start standing up, start uniting, start getting out in there, talking to people, talk your truth, with compassion, understanding, and intelligence. Because if you, you watch any of the stuff that I'm talking to you about, you've got to be fairly intelligent, you've got to figure out what's going on. Here's my dog. Okay, Larry, thanks for joining us. Hey Carmen, how are you? I hope it's all good in the hood. <laughs> Don't normally show me ugly mug, but there you go. It's better things to look at. So yeah guys, um, you know, get united, get together, start connecting, get over your own little bloody your own bullshit, because the time for your own bullshit's to be put aside now. Okay. Because the wolves are circling the paddocks, folks. And you're the shepherds. You're the shepherds out there. So start doing your job. I know you hold a crook. The old shepherds hold a crook, don't they? Oh, yeah. Maybe we can get some staff. Maybe we can get some staff going rather than the crooks. Shepherd the sheep to safety. Because they're a bit lost at the moment. Hey, that's a good thing about sheep, too. Once a few of you guys start standing up, the sheep will follow you. They'll go, bah! They'll go, bah! A few of them might go moo because they don't quite know their sheep. But anyway, that's what happens. Some people are a bit confused because the con has been very cleverly fused over these years, decades. And like to fuse the con, you're being conned. It's a little bit condescending, isn't it? It's like a midget climbing out of a prison cell, isn't it? He's a bit condescending. I was going to say that joke, but it's not very nice. It's a bit condescending. It's good to contemplate, though, eh? Your dog, your dog's got a mind of its own, but it don't go far from home. And that's like these are uh, creatures. They don't go far from the darkness, folks. They don't go far from the dark. They're like little cockroaches. You spread a bit of light on them, they'll run away. And that's our job out there. Start spreading a little light on what's going on. Giving people a little bit of encouragement. And um, maybe a few tools, a few ideas. Get out there and uh, start becoming all that you can. And stand up and speak out. As I said before, we are the ones we've been waiting for. And if we don't do it, who else is going to? Who else are you going to wait for to do it? 
Are you going to wait for someone else to do it? We know where that gets you. Nothing gets done. Waiting for somebody to do something sometime, but nobody does nothing. Well, maybe you're somebody. Oh, yeah, of course you are. If you think you are, if you have your own value, your own cost, and your own worth, if you think you're worth something, you think your voice is, is worth being heard, if you, th you think there's things that you, you might be worth standing up for, I hope so. Good things to uh, mull over. Good things to mull over and think about and contemplate. And it's good to be able to get out into beautiful places like this and be able to have the space without distractions to be able to do that to get your thoughts centered to get your energy centered find your balance to breathe with peace with love kindness and knowing that we win whatever that means for you. So stand up. We all know that when we uh, open ourselves up to the outside world, we become vulnerable to the ravages of the environment. We become a little bit tethered, a little bit frayed. But we had our moment, and this is it. This is your moment. So be momentous. Stand up and speak out. We know it makes you vulnerable. We know you're going to be damaged. And you're going to have to endure the ravages of the environment around you. But when you stop standing up and shining your flowery light, it puts your kids and your grandkids in danger. So you can pass that danger on to them if you want to. That is your choice. And I'll just leave you with this. The love you withhold is the pain you will carry. So love and light to you all. Shine bright and go hard. <laughs>